I'm Kristen Stampini with Stamp TV, and today I'm going to share with you some legal mistakes to avoid when buying or selling a home. So stay with me until the end of the video because I'll give you useful tips before you make any decision of home buying or selling. Let's get started. When you're buying or selling a home, there are many important legal issues, large and small, that you should be aware of. To begin with, residential real estate is not an uncomplicated process. When such a major investment is transferred from one party to another, even the legal details need to be taken care of. And if not, they can turn into major problems if not handled properly. So, what you need to do, it is essential to be as informed as possible in order to properly protect yourself in the process of buying or selling a home. You know, there are several issues that will certainly cost you if you are not properly informed and represented. In this report, we identify three of the most common of these issues because there are many legal issues to consider. Your first steps is to consider choosing replicable and experienced professionals to represent your interests through the entire process. When selecting your real estate agent, ensure you find somebody who has extensive experience with the process they should also refer you to a local real estate lawyer who can ensure your interests are protected. You know what? Following are three common examples of legal clauses that can work to your disadvantage. And if not work correctly, you could be in trouble. So, survey clause. You know what? Home buyers have the right to have a survey clause added to the real estate contract, and most lenders will require it as well on the home they wish to purchase. You know what, when this home is yours, you should be aware of the implications of this clause. And your current survey may no longer be up to date. If you have a good swimming pool built or an addition added since the survey was drawn up. If your survey is not up to date by these standards that are required, the buyer may request an updated survey. The home seller may be required to bear the cost to have a new survey. It depends on your locations, your cities, your states. Uh, be prepared. The cost for this process typically runs anywhere between $500 and $1,000. Less that you are gonna net from your home, depending on who does it, the buyer or the seller. Okay, an experienced real estate agent should provide you with a survey and it is up to the buyer to decide if they, they survey the home. So they should provide you with uh, that option. You know, your agent should be able to advise you uh, appropriately when dealing with this issue. But if you or your agent are unsure, you have the right to consult your lawyer before you sign the offer. And don't be afraid to take this important step as thousands of dollars could be riding on the decisions that you make at this point. So you should just be aware of it and who's responsible to pay for it. Home inspection clause. You know what? Some real estate transactions have fallen through because of the wording of the inspection clause. You know what? This clause previously stated you know, that the buyer has the right to uh, rescind their offer. And really, you know, here where we're located in South Florida, buyer can decide not to buy the home during the inspection period for any reason at all. So just know what the inspection period clause is, what can happen. Uh, your agent should explain this to you, but it's very important that you know how the inspection period works. You know, um, you can lose money, you can lose time. And so just make sure that you know your options and what happens during that inspection period and what options that you have as a buyer, as a seller, what opportunities, because it can cost you a lot of money. Uh, during that process. So it's important that you have somebody who is negotiating for you. The home may have problem house 
and cost a lot of money. Some people don't even want to do the inspection and I feel that it's very important that you do. And third, they find themselves back on the market, a lot of homes incurring inconvenience and additional carrying costs because they have not provided the information and marketed the property for longer periods of time. Make sure of different clauses. Remember your realtor is usually not an attorney as well or a lawyer, so you may want to get a lawyer to make sure that you are protected as well. All of these steps are so important. If you want our full report on what to do when buying a home, just get our information from below that we have provided and reach out to us and we will gladly provide that to you. If you like this video, please hit a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, comment on it. Also, the bell icon, if you click on that, will notify you as soon as we have new weekly videos. Thanks for joining us today. Bye.